Well, welcome once again, Beruchim Avayim, to our six minutes of Torah together on the web. This week's Pasha is Pasha's Vayishlach, the paradigm of the meeting between the Yaakov and Esav of the world. And it's instructive in terms of our relationships with the rest of the world and certainly with ourselves. The historical record has shown that whenever there was a need for a meeting between the great leaders of the Jewish people and those who were the adversaries, they always were told, study Parshas Vayishlach. It tells us about the way the Jewish people react vis-a-vis the rest of the world. It's interesting to note that when Yaakov was about to meet Esav, it says in the Pasuk, Vayira Yaakov ma'od vayetzer lo. And Yaakov was very afraid, and he was distressed. And, of course, he was distressed, as Rashi says, not only because he might be killed, but because he might have to kill in self-defense. But the Vilna Gaon raises an interesting point. The Medrash says that Yaakov was very afraid of Esav, because despite the fact that it says in the Pasuk, Im lovan garti va with love and I lived, and I stayed till now, and Garti is in the gematria of Tar Yag, which means that love that Yaakov meant to say, I've lived with love, and he could have used any other word, Yashavti Yim Lovan, you know, or some other word, but he said Garti to tell you that even though I was with love and I kept 613 commandments, nevertheless Yaakov was still afraid. Why was he afraid? So the Vilna Gaon quotes the Medrash, because all these years, when Yaakov was busy doing Taryag mitzvahs, Esav had an ace in the hole, you might say. Esav had a benefit that Yaakov did not have. And that was that he lived in Eretz Yisrael. That mitzvah of living in the land of Israel, Yish of Eretz Yisrael, was so powerful that Yaakov was actually afraid that perhaps that one commandment, that one beautiful observance, would stand in his way. And of course, our more current Rabbonim have used the Vilna Gaon's statement as a jump-off point to extrapolate to the fact that even though there are many today in Eretz Yisrael who could not necessarily be called in the realm of the observant Jewish people, nevertheless, they have a great gift. The gift is that they are living in Eretz Yisrael. And we too, we too should strive as best as we can to spend time in Eretz Yisrael because that in and of itself grants us a great amount of protection. There is an interesting story about the Chafetz Chaim that in 1933 a few rabbis came to him and they asked him, what do you make of the political situation with Hitler, Yemach Shemov Zichro, rising to power and threatening to destroy the Jewish people? Will he succeed? And the Chavetz Chaim said it's impossible that he will succeed because the Pasuk says, lefleta, that Yaakov divided up the Jewish people and he guaranteed and he said, v'hoya, and it will be, lefleta, there will be one camp that will remain. There will never be a total destruction of the Jewish people. So one of the rabbis had the temerity to ask him, are you saying that perhaps there's going to be something that remains, which means that there's going to be a great destruction. Where will the remainder be? And the Chavetz Chaim said, the remainder will be in Eretz Yisrael, because that's the land that is protected by Hashem. We today are very, very concerned about the future of Eretz Yisrael, considering the terrible threats that Iran and others of their ilk have been making against the land of Israel. But the words of the Chavetz Chaim and the words of the Vilna Gaon based on this week's Sedra are telling us, number one, there's going to be a remnant of the Jewish people always, and that remnant, of course, in Eretz Yisrael. And secondly, we have to be very concerned about the fact that the land of Israel offers us a tremendous amount of protection. And every time we walk there, Every time we go there, every time we support what's going on in Eretz Yisrael, 
And every time we think about the fact that maybe, maybe, we will one day be able to go and live there ourselves to fulfill that great mitzvah, that stands in good stead for the Jewish people. Klai Yisrael has a future that's bright, something to look forward to, because the land of Israel, our homeland, is once again flourishing. And we are miraculously privileged to be a part of that growth. We support it, we visit it, and we even hope that sometime soon we will be able to consider ourselves residents in our Tzainu HaKadosha. May Hashem bless us that we have an opportunity to see the fulfillment of a solichenu komemius la'artzenu, that we will go standing to our land.